Hi, how are you? Hi. How's it going? More questions this year than answers. Oh, there are some answers though. I mean, the 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 first episode picks up immediately after the last episode or the finale, so you find out immediately where the bullet went, what happens, yeah, and the aftermath of that. So there are some there are some some definite answers, And, and as the season progresses, there's other struggles that. Other questions that we're trying to figure out, season long, series long things, yep. but there are some answers that um, yep. some of the other characters are trying to find the answers to. You know, how much do you guys know about what is going to happen this season? How much do you, are you sort of pre-prepped, or I'm, do you just literally find out as the script comes to you? Yeah, I feel like in the beginning of last year, none of us wanted to know anything, um, and they kind of like we rode that way for as long as we possibly could. And so it got to a place where a few of us, uh, it, so much was happening, almost you know, ten episodes in, kind of thing that we we needed a little outline of what was about to come. Uh, I got a little indication at the beginning of this season what was what was happening with everything. Obviously, uh, the cliffhanger that happened with us and, and all that good stuff. Um, but I still, we still don't know. I mean, we're almost halfway yeah. through and we still don't know what's about to happen. So we're shooting episode eight right now. So obviously, we know yeah, just a little so then, bit more than half of the season. Yep. But I think there's some really big things coming at the end of the season that I have no idea about. No, me neither. So I think there's a big... And they keep hinting at it, coming. too, so they keep, you know... And you were talking about answers. I think there's something big at the end of the season. That I yes. don't know what it is yet. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Did they film... Uh, we understand that this season picks up straight straight after the gunshot. Did they film what's going to happen at the end of last year? What do you mean? When, when, when like they, how the scene in other words, it, yeah. it, it literally oh, picks yeah. up <laughs> in, in that scene. Yeah. Did you have to go and shoot it again? Yeah, yeah. we, we started this year exactly yeah. we where that... We didn't shoot the whole scene, we just shot the aftermath. The aftermath oh, okay. of it, yeah. Um, yeah. But then there's a time jump after that. Yeah. So it doesn't... The show doesn't continue the first episode day to day. There's right. A, there's many months that... that after that, yeah. How yeah, much did the outcome surprise you or shock you or... Oh, well, we knew it was going to happen yeah. at the end of last season. Yeah, yeah, we already knew. Well, they're yeah, both yeah. promoting. But there are that, that doesn't mean there any, are that doesn't mean anything. So it could be that it could be anything. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't mean anything. This is also the hardest interviews I've had to do because I'm like, ah, you can't talk about I can't it. talk. What can I finally? What can we say? You know, yeah. like I feel like anything. I'm gonna put my foot in my mouth. What do you find most thematically rich or interesting about the series? Because it's kind of dense material, yeah, considering extremely. that it's you know not like HBO or that right. type of a network. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, I just I think they've just done such an amazing job of being able to create this these amazing uh, uh, diverse characters that are created in these imaginary circumstances that are unimaginable in a sense of what would you what would anyone do in a sense like everyone moves on when you think someone's gone and then these people come back after five and a half years that's a long time and you're forced to have to you know live this new life that looks exactly the same but it's it's five years have passed everyone's moved on like for my character I. I had a hard time kind of like grounding him in a sense that he was he's he's a hard worker he has a huge heart and everything but at the end of the day like he's not a, he's not a cheater but he did he after a long time fell in love with her best friend because of course it had to be her best friend yeah. uh, as it would in a you know uh, scripted television show and then she comes back and it's like he's forced to have to kind of live this this new normal with having to see her every day and I mean it's it's uh, it's very rich and, and beautifully put together you know and this guy's I think, I've been, I, I think I've been lucky with the, in that regard because I've uh, Zeke's had a lot of personal story. He's had a lot of backstory and and, and uh, things that are compelling to me as an actor. So I haven't had to play these big, huge, abstract ideas as much. It's been more about personal connection and and Zeke's history and his family. And you'll, you'll see some more people in this second season as well. So it's been more. Uh, I guess more tangible for me to be able to play in the scene, you know. Yeah. So it hasn't been such a, uh, like I said, abstract big ideas like it has been for some of the other characters. And that has a lot to do with our writers too, because it could be a very abstract kind of the the mythology, all the stuff that's happening. But I feel like they've done such a beautiful job at grounding these human beings that that's why I feel like it's so relatable, you know. No matter if there is that five and a half year gap, all these all these people you can relate to one character or another, you know. So. I think the thing for you, I'm sorry, the thing for you was she has these abilities and she's solving things ahead of time yeah. in the beginning. And you're kind of caught in the middle and it's almost like it's uh, kind of uh, 
attacking your own belief system. A hundred percent, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he took a bit of a, because I, I, I was told I was going to take a bit of a turn, but I wasn't, ex I had no idea what the heck that turn was. And towards the end of it, I was like, wow, this guy is really, uh, Jared's, uh, he's got his own demons he's dealing with, because he is, he became super uh, invested in making sure that this guy had nothing to do with her, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> it was great, it was great. I mean, you know, we found out that there's this death date thing. Yeah, that's a big thing. Uh, for Zeke, if I'm still around, then I, w I was only gone for a year. So that's much more immediate for me than them. They've got five years. Um, that may be something that uh, mm -hmm. is played yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, if uh, Jared happened not to get the bullet in his heart, then uh, he, no, this season he definitely... Uh, you'll see him go down a very different path uh, than we saw him last year. Uh, yeah. Going dark. He goes very dark this year. Yeah. And it could, it could, it could, it, could, it, could it, it could be like a fantasy or no, whatever, and uh, he maybe he comes back as a ghost, whatever maybe. But he definitely goes down a, a, a darker tunnel than, than we saw last year. Needless to say. What's the state of his relationship with his lady love? I don't know. I mean, who knows? Complication. I can tell you that. It's a lot of complication. It's one of those things. You it's can, always uh, going to be complicated. Yeah. Zeke, no Zeke. You know, with Zeke, whatever. There's always going to be complications there. So. I guess we'll see right at the beginning of the Right off the then. jump, right off the jump. <laughs> Did you have another question you wanted to ask about cutoff No. no. Oh, awesome. You get to do some sort of uh, special effects in a way when you're yeah. in. How much fun is that for you and how do they shoot some of you those You mean things? with regard to the injuries and things or what? When you certainly get transported to different Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny, man. It's kind of, it's like uh, you hear actors that do these movies, and the whole thing is green screen, and it feels very artificial and silly in the moment. And you know, Melissa and I are laughing and joking about it because it, it feels ridiculous. But you have to put yourself in that situation as much as you can and make it as real as possible. Um, yeah, you're just surrounded by green, and, and you're in a big warehouse, and then they they add in stars in the sky and everything later. You just have to trust too that, it, and actually, they had they had a TV screen there that you could see right after that had sort of a preliminary look, which then helped you to imagine yeah. it. You know, and we got a we got a hell of a makeup department, you know. And then because yeah, I've walked in, I've walked in sometimes on this guy yeah. with the makeup, and I'm like, oh wow, it's like and that that just helps you kind of like I don't care who you are, but you look at that on. stuff and like yeah. They do a great job. They do yeah, a great job of it. So. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thanks for you guys. Have a nice day.